Hey everyone, it's Ashley. I'm here with the video for our macrame craft takeout kit. So this is what we will be making. This is the first in a series for this fall. Next month we'll be making watercolor coffee mugs. And then in December we'll be doing a U paint where you pick up all the supplies at the library and then you'll follow along with the video. So uh, hopefully by now you have come to the library to pick up your kit. It's a little brown bags. They have all the supplies that you need for this craft. Kits will be available until October 15th or while supplies last. So let's go ahead and start making our macrame keychain. First of all, if we don't know what macrame is, it's a knotting technique using different textiles to make a piece of art. So if you have ever made friendship bracelets, you have probably done macrame. So it's just knotting. So we have this very basic one that we will be doing today. If you go onto YouTube or Pinterest, you'll be seeing, you'll be able to see so many different types of techniques and different things that people have made, wall pieces, um, pot hangers for your plants, um, bags, a wide variety of things that you can use the simple knotting technique to create. So if you like today's craft and want to explore it some more, check out macrame books at the library. Check out Creative Bug, um, our online service. There might be some videos, more videos on, ac on macrame, um, or check out YouTube and Pinterest. So let's get started. In your kit, you should have two pieces of 50 inch rope, a large jump ring, colored floss, a wooden bead, and you're also gonna need a piece of tape and some scissors. We are gonna start off with our tape and our large jump ring and securing that down on a surface. We will be tightening and pulling on the rope as we work. We are taking one piece of the rope, folding it in half. We are going to put the loop through the jump ring, through the front, and then pulling the ends through that loop. We are going to do the same thing with the other piece of rope. and then make sure it's tight to the jump ring. So you should have four strands of rope hanging from your jump ring. You are gonna be working from the two side pieces of rope, left or right. So you're gonna loop over across, and then loop over, and then loop under, and pulling it tight. I started with the right side, and this time I'm gonna go on the left side. So loop it over on top, pull the other end one over that one, then under, I call that the intersection, and then pulling it tight. Pull the rope and then push it up. So we'll be going back and forth just like that. So you're gonna go over, over, and then under. And pulling and tightening as you go. So I'm stopping here. The next part is to put on our wooden bead. You're gonna thread it through the two middle pieces of rope. Your ends of the rope might be frayed a little bit, so I do grab a pen here to help me push it through the hole. Now here you can make the choice to continue making knots past the wooden ball or you can end it here and tie everything together. It is completely up to you. But with mine, I'm just going to tie everything together. Take your colored floss and you're just going to be wrapping it around the end at the bottom of your wooden bead. You have to figure out how to hold it, what will work best for you.
to how many times you want to wrap the floss around the end. It depends on how wide you want it, how thick you want it. But do kind of remember to keep the ends near the top because as you tie the knots, make it secure, you can kind of tuck it under the bead near um, or near the top of your yarn. So just tie a couple good knots. Here I am just tucking the ends into up in the bead, straighten it out a little bit, and then you can decide how long you want your tassels and cut off the extra, and then you just unravel the rope. And there you go, you made a macrame keychain. <laughs>